Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, H.G. Tate, and let's be real. The Bible can be pretty weird sometimes, but I've decided to pick out my top five favorite verses from the Bible. And you know what? Let's just get right into it. I'm going to be uh, counting downs from my least favorite to my favorite, but I mean, obviously, these are all good because they're my favorites. We all know this one. It's Leviticus 2015. If a man lies with an animal, he shall, surely, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. A classic. Everyone knows this one. Everyone knows it. Bestiality. Not cool, man. Not, I don't have a lot to say about that one. Um, if you have sex with an animal, that's kind of that's kind of weird. <clears throat> I personally have not had sex with an animal, or a human being for that matter. Um, on that note, let's go. Let's go. Let's just go to the next one. Um, this one's not bad. It's, it's not my favorite, obviously. Um, two Kings 224 or second Kings 224. I don't know the Bible. Uh, Elisha, Elisha turned around and looked at them and he cursed them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of them. So I don't know the context of this. I just thought it was funny. Um, he just, he just turned around and he's like, God strike them down. And then two bears just came like running out of the woods and just ate like 42 of them that's like you know the bible kill count like how god's killed so many more people than satan this this is probably a big part of that <laughs> 42 that's crazy i god's crazy man christianity man all right let's just move on to the next one this one this one's really good numbers 31 17 now kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man. That's it. Now that that's it. There's no more. Um, this this is <laughs> this is a translation. I had to find a very specific one to make it funny, but I still think it's funny. I just I like that. Now kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man. Like even <laughs> even a woman who slept with a husband or like her cat. Like not not like that. Not like that. Like you just you like sleep with someone once, and I know it means like sex but like i just think it's funny like how the bible just ha doesn't mention it's like sex it's just like sleeping you know uh, i just think now kill all the boys it's funny like imagine god's just like you, you know you're just chilling and you're just like you're just like a five-year-old kid and you're just like chilling there you know playing with like legos or whatever and god's just come down and he's like y you know what you know what i think would be really funny if we killed all boys every single one of them and then he's like, oh, you know what? You know what else would be really funny on top of that? Every single woman who slept with a man. Every single one. Ain't that crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just <laughs> I just think it's a really odd one. I think it's very specific and it needs a lot of context. And maybe it's whack out of context, too. I have no clue. But let's uh, let's go on to the, my, my second favorite Bible verse. This one's tough to read. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son, and cast it at his feet, and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. Um, and this is Exodus 4.26, apparently. So he let him go, and then she said, A bloody husband thou art, because of the circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, him is Moses. So this reads like a really bad fan fiction. Like some something you hear at like Sonic. It's just like, it's, it's really weird, like just cutting off someone's foreskin. Like kids, like this is a baby, I think. And it's just like cutting off the foreskin, tossing it at Moses' feet. I'm, I, it's just weird because you imagine Moses just like is into that. Because I don't know. It's like the, it's like 10 AD. There's got, there's got to be into some weird stuff. But yeah, I, that one's just, that one's just weird. But let's get into my favorite. This one is so good. It's so funny. Uh, Deuteronomy 23.1. A man shall not marry his father's wife, nor shall he dishonor his father's bed. Already, starting off good. There's more. There's more. Already starting off good. A man shall not marry his mother, or I guess his father's wife, because that could be your stepmom, I guess. But I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> you just be like, oh shit, yo, my mom's got my mom's kind of fucking hot though. Like, yo, you see her like, you see her, yo, she out there with like that that uh. I don't know what they wore in the like sandals. See, oh yo, see so you see her nineteen, her ten eighty sandals, bro. She got the, 
<laughs> she she got the Jesus tens, bro. She she got those Leviticus jeans. <laughs> okay, but enough of that. Let's get on to the juicy part. No one whose testicles have been crushed or whose penis has been cut off may come into the assembly of the Lord. So if you don't have balls, you just you just can't. You can't. Uh, I, I imagine this is how it plays out. There's just like a, a penis inspection thing like I, at the Heaven's Gate and God's just like, let me just uh, let me just check here real quick. Oh, uh, no balls. I uh, I hate to say this, but you but you can't go into heaven. Wh what? Why not? Sorry, man. I, I don't make the rules. Yes, you do. You're God. A uh, gay person says what? What? Fuck. But yeah, I just I, I think that might be how it plays out. I I don't know. I get it. Like, I think it's like a very specific like like uh, context as to, like how it happened or like what this line means. But it's just so funny out of context. And um, I guess that means not all dogs go to heaven because I'm probably saying right now, like nine out of ten dogs, no balls. So your dog is going to hell. That's all I got to say. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, shit, I'm making this up on the spot. What's your favorite food? Your favorite food. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. See ya.